uh, today is Sunday. We are looking to perhaps different opportunities available up there, in particular finance. Every Sunday, every weekend, uh, I'm going to be taking a look at financial opportunities up there. I have covered a number of those already. Uh, there should be more, but uh, let, let's jump to the next ones, right? So I, uh, within the, a couple of my previous videos, I have uh, covered some of the competition processes available up there. I was focusing on the Welsh area within that region, uh, what you, you financial opportunities available, as well as uh, I was taking a look at some of the universities and uh, where you can potentially source different finance and it comes to delivering all of those projects, right? So if you yourself, you need to secure, if you were to secure, right? But perhaps you might want to have uh, within the partnership uh, universities, right? Colleges, universities, education facilities, or perhaps those facilities who has uh, necessary equipment to deliver some of those projects, right? Within this video, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, Opportunity when it comes to research and development solutions, there's a fund available for £20,000 for any organization who would like to deliver some of those projects, right? Let's delve uh, into this opportunity and try to understand a little bit better what that is. I'm taking a look at University of Plymouth. Uh, I was doing a little bit of a deep dive of uh, trying to understand some of the finances and where finances was coming from. Perhaps, who knows, right? And perhaps it has to be something with a recent contract when it comes to uh, nuclear submarines and uh, some of the contracts that were secured by UK's government and where actually those uh, subs are gonna be built as well as paying taxes within that region. Perhaps it will come back to that if we were following the money, right? So taxes was paid on somewhere around 750 million right of pounds if taxes was paid some of the taxes went into improving education improving facilities uh, i'm taking a look at Plymouth university right this university was it's public information <laughs> in the way it's public information everyone can access this information right but recently they have improved their facilities, so it's a small promo, right? <laughs> if anything, I'm promoting is an institution, right? Recently, we improved all the facilities, we invested another 100,000 into upgrading all the facilities when it comes to uh, university having access, but perhaps they as well as they're looking for business partnerships, perhaps. So it's something that they invest in the facilities. Uh, perhaps we're covering that video as well, but uh, within this video, I'm going to be taking a look at business opportunities, right? And let's uh, try to understand a little bit better for information that I was managed to find on the company's website. Next time, hopefully, more businesses would be able to secure this kind of support for other governments, right? So that would mean more businesses would be able to pay more taxes, then they can improve better and build better infrastructures when it comes to developing future leaders, if that makes sense, self-fulfilling supply chain, <laughs> something that we are focusing on, right? More taxes would be paid to local government. What that local government would do with that money, if they perhaps uh, that sound decision to invest into developing future leaders, right? That, that's very common sense, I guess. Well, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> it depends, right? I don't know how well some of the business is performing, but in particular within Devon, it seems like everyone's very chilled over here compared to perhaps other regions like, uh, I don't know, <laughs> perhaps London, where everyone uh, seems to uh, are taking chances and taking on uh, new opportunities, are very stressed about everything that's happening, but either way, well, in Devon, it seems everyone's very chilled, <laughs> but that's my own understanding, right, when it comes to doing business. Uh, Information that I managed to find on a company's website. What is Enterprise Solutions? Enterprise Solutions helps you to navigate your way to University of Plymouth internationally renowned research expertise facilities and business services. It connects you to the right support that meets your organization needs. The university works with uh, hundreds of organizations. I had the opportunity to meet with some of the staff. They told me it's about 800 businesses every year that they're doing business with. I don't know how accurate this information is, but this is something that I was told by the staff. Both large and small to find innovative solutions in the challenging, which are challenging the 
current markets, right? This uh, could involve a joint research and development projects, access to innovative uh, incentives or science parks to access students, a different talent or academic expertise when it comes to delivering your project if it's something that you're interested in. So when, once you have a project, right, you might be interested in reaching out to different universities and different universities might have different programs, right? They might have different systems, different processes when it comes to working with the businesses. But there are opportunities available out there kind of how I like to bring more people's attention. There are opportunities available, perhaps a core expertise of this university is something that I've been told they more focus on marine, I guess, when it comes to marine life, they have you know, aquariums, so they have a lot of interesting things, right? <laughs> Myself, I'm not that interested in water, if anything, oh, but uh, I'm interested in running a business, right? <laughs> well, it's something that they are interested in. So, again, it depends what kind of problem you might have and where you would be looking for solutions to that problem. So, if I were to look for engineering, uh, there is a particular area within UK where I uh, source uh, know-how when it comes to engineering if I'm looking for logistics solutions. Um, there is uh, one area where I would source uh, know-how when it comes to logistics solutions. If I'm looking for legal accounting, there is uh, one area, one t or groups of universities where I would source that kind of area, if that makes sense. If I'm looking for more of the marine life, I guess. <laughs> I might find myself sourcing some of the know-how when it comes to developing some engineering solutions, anything when it comes to marines perhaps, they more lean towards that, but it's just because of the pool of uh, candidates, people and uh, something that they work, but it's not necessarily limited to that, but it's more geared towards that. RSD or Research and Development Solutions Fund 2023. Following the highly successful 2001 and 2022 uh, Research and Development Solutions Fund, the University of Plymouth Research and Innovation Team are delighted to announce a new uh, Research and Development Solutions Fund's grant, grant of up to £20,000 available to solve business problems throughout encouraging stronger academic and business collaboration. That should be benefit for a government, that makes sense, if they're looking to secure that finance that will benefit, pay more taxes to cities, hire or employ more people, that would, it, I guess it would be more like an investment and they can reduce risk and investing in different businesses or working with different businesses which can potentially pay dividends to cities, right? The fund responds to the need to develop new products or services for existing and or emerging markets nationally or in, even internationally where the research intends City of our university can accelerate innovation processes. All applicants to initially register their interest, the enterprise solutions by contacting. There's a phone number and an email for those of you who are interested. I would highly recommend to reach out. It seems he have very professional administrative staff, right? Since we are on the topic of university, I have uh, myself. I developed a course. For those of you who are interested in uh, pursuing uh, your targets, goals, uh, if you've got that ambition going right, <laughs> you can find QR code in the corner if you like to purchase this course. I have uh, developed this course in a number of different formats, video, audio, uh, PDF files. Uh, if you need further guidance, well, we can stay in touch. I can guide you to depending on what kind of pro problem you got. Uh, this uh, particular course is a very fundamental course uh, where I'm focusing on 12 different areas where I'm looking to improve uh, people's expertise when it comes to areas like uh, having a budget, a personal budget. From there you can progress into having professional budget and manage a number of different projects. Uh, what is a very fundamental course where you need to start, what you need to understand. Most of the things that uh, I'm sharing within the course haven't been taught in school, so it's a good place to begin. Uh, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. It's not necessarily limited to just a uh, research and development solutions fund. There are different opportunities or collaboration available out there when it comes to working on the solutions for a business, right? If you're looking to source perhaps a uh, future workforce that would be PhD students or perhaps you're looking to source uh, or have access to knowledge transfer partnerships. 
there's uh, different opportunities available up there as well. I'm not supported by any of those universities again. <laughs> so, <laughs> I guess. Uh, currently, I haven't signed any agreements, right? So, perhaps uh, send me a check. If anything, I'll cover uh, some of those uh, subjects and something that those universities are looking to achieve in more detail. Then, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.